Hey guys, back Kentucky Range Time and continuing our, uh, our video series of 300 blackout gel block test loads today, we will be looking at the Lapua OTCE. That's an open tip, cutting edge bullet. Uh, this is a 100 grain uh, copper jacketed lead bullet and uh, we're going we're gonna to put it in the gel block and see what it does. So let's get turned around, take a look at the loading and then we'll move on out to the range. All right, guys, so we're starting out with the uh, Hodgson Little Gun Powder for this one, CCI Small Rifle Primers, uh, Starline Nickel Plated Brass, and, uh, of course, the uh, Lapua uh, OTCE Cutting Edge Bullets, and uh, 100 grain. Now, this is kind of a, an odd size on this, and uh, this is a, a loading that I actually had done uh, a while back, and... Uh, you know, we're going to see what this one does in the gel block and, and get a velocity check on it as well. So quick look at this. Uh, it's a 100 grain bullet, but it has a really uh, funky ogive on it and a really short nose. Uh, so what happens is uh, a lot of our bullet is in the 308 diameter body of this, a lot of the weight is, and that actually gets the bullet down in the case pretty good. Uh, especially compared to some of the other lighter grain bullets that we've been running in, in 300 blackouts. So uh, there's a good look at the open tip on these. And uh, let's get to the range and see how these do in the truck. All right, guys, next up we've got the, uh, the Lapua OTCE. That's an open tip, cutting edge bullet. It's got a pretty decent hollow point on here. And uh, at 100 grain bullets and a supersonic loading, uh, I'm expecting this to be running in the mid 2000s on the velocity and uh, thinking that we'll probably end up getting some pretty good expansion out of this. So uh, let's put it in the jail and see. We got several wound tracks down there and I'm kind of trying to pick and choose uh, where that's going. But this rifle sighted in for a hundred yards and uh, a lot of times we're shooting quite a bit low from my point of aim and uh, it's hard to cheat up close to the top sometimes. You just naturally don't want to do that. Uh, velocity on a hundred grain bullet was 2,336 foot per second. Let's go down and see what we got. All right, guys, so wound track started right here and it pretty well opened up from here. There was no copper or lead debris in this gel block at all, just the blue ballistic tips from the TSX bullets from earlier. So all of this copper and all this lead is from this, uh, from this cutting edge bullet. And uh, looks, like, uh, looks like we got an exit right here. So the bulk of the bullet actually came out of the block. Take a look and see what we got on the numbers. So uh, by four and a half inches, we were getting expansion out of this. So we got some pretty deep penetration before the expansion started. Uh, by five inches, uh, six inches, five and a half inches, it had completely opened up and fragmented. We got really nice fragments uh, between six and, and 10 inches and with some of the heavier chunks carrying out as far as uh, 14 inches out here. So uh, uh, take a look at this from the top. Oh, we also got part of the bullet left up here. So we had a big chunk to leave down here on the side, but we also had another big chunk that come across and captured right up here in this area. And that is at about 15 inches. That's a, that's a nice size chunk of lead too. So uh, some pretty explosive uh, reaction out of this uh, cutting edge bullet. Um, I'm gonna swap these gel blocks around. I'm gonna move this one down here for the second shot. That way we can get a new wound track on this and, uh, and actually see the copper fragments again. We got some, uh, we got some really good expansion out of the first shot on this. Not the immediate expansion you get with the ballistic tip, but we got some pretty good penetration 
and then we got our expansion. So I'm curious to see if this next round acts the same way. Uh, that's a good characteristic if you want to get down in something like a, I don't know, not sure this is a, a, a logical bear round, but if you were trying to shoot something like a bear and you wanted to get some penetration before this bullet explodes, it seems like that's the way it's going. All right, let's see what this one does. Tell you right now, I just took out my board. <laughs> Not real sure what happened there. Let's go find out. We did get a velocity though at 2302. So no hit on the gel block, but we split the bottom board and it looks like I actually cut, cut this shelving board right on down the middle. Get these gel blocks moved and take a look. All right, guys, so we had some massive energy there. Uh, I'm not real sure what ripped this board apart, uh, other than the fact that it was the downward force coming out of this gel block. Uh, our wound track, and I thought initially I had completely missed it, but our wound track is right here, going in, comes through. Here's a big chunk of copper jacket. And that wound channel goes on across. Got a little bit of copper there, and these blocks are actually separated apart. It goes on through. Um, this copper and this jacket is from this bullet. This, uh, this piece of copper back here in the back, actually this block is upside down from when it was on my previous shot. So that was what was left from our first shot with this bullet. And then down here is a, is a major chunk of a, you see it tracked down right through here and came in. So this this piece of lead right here is also out of this last bullet that we fired. Let me uh, let me get these blocks back together and I'll get some measurements on this. All right, again, looks like most of our expansion started happening around five inches of penetration, which is one of my curiosities. And then uh, we got this big chunk of copper that almost exited here uh, just past nine inches. We got some chunks here at 16. Uh, we've got some more lead and some more jacketing here at 19. And then we've got the, uh, the bulk of the lead core out here at about 24 and three quarter inches. So uh, that cutting edge bullet, uh, it's doing some good stuff on there, 100 grains. And I can probably push this a little bit faster if I wanted to. It looks like we're hitting around 24, mid 2400 foot per second. So uh, anyway, some really, really interesting results out of that bullet. All right, guys. So I uh, got back to the house and I was able to dig out all the all the particles from this bullet and uh, out of the gel block as I was cleaning them up. And you know, it's pretty obvious here that we've got most of this one bullet over here intact. Um, this was the second bullet I fired, and those big chunks of copper looks like the cup separated in half, and that lead core kind of came out. The first bullet, if you notice on the slow mo, uh, there was a massive chunk of lead that actually popped out of the top of the gel block and another big chunk that came out of the side. And uh, so this was what was left of it. Uh, got the base and, and the, the lead that was out of the base. And then the rest of that bullet, uh, it left in multiple pieces. So we got some pretty good fragmentation out of the first round um, and decent fragmentation uh, and break up out of the, out of the third round or out of the second round. Uh, three pretty decent wound tracks uh, from these three big chunks here. Now, what we did get with this, it's different than a lot of the other bullets where it's an open tip, is we got deeper penetration before this bullet actually expanded open and started doing its work. So, you know, uh, bullet selection is, is huge and knowing how these bullets function uh, makes a big difference. So this 100 grain bullet would be ideal on, on deer size targets. Uh, you're gonna get some 
nice penetration, and then once it gets to the internals, it's going to open up and fragment and create a lot of bleeders, a lot of damage there. Whereas some of the thinner skin ballistic tips that open up almost immediately may not carry enough energy deep enough into a deer size target, uh, but would do much better on like coyote size and smaller garment size targets. So, uh, you know, bullet selection here is key. All right, guys, so that's the, uh, the Lapua OTCE uh, Hunter Grain Open Tip Cutting Edge Bullet. And uh, this thing actually performed very well. Uh, this bullet definitely has a place uh, in your arsenal. This particular loading is, uh, is probably quite a bit slower than what it could be. Uh, I'm sure at 100 grain bullets, we could push this thing up to uh, probably mid 2400s to 2500 foot per second pretty safely. And uh, you know, that's gonna change the effects here a little bit uh, from, from the loading that we had, but definitely uh, a nice bullet. And uh, you know, for, for deer size targets, for a little bit larger gain, uh, going with the open tip design instead of the ballistic tip design uh, is gonna give you a little bit deeper penetration before you start getting all the expansion on it. So uh, anyway, guys, just another good offering from the Pua Bullets here. And, uh, and and even in 300 blackout. So, all right, guys, as always, if you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button. And if you've got any questions, I would love to hear those. Leave them in the comment section. I'll get back to you. And uh, Matt from Kentucky Range Time, guys, we will catch you on the next one.